Bye, I'll see you in a week. There comes a time in many women's lives when they begin to put themselves first. They seek their own growth, their own journey, their own adventures. 20 women age 45 plus who feel overlooked in today's youth-driven society go on a motorcycle adventure as a means of embracing this time of their lives and seeking self-discovery and are reminded of the truth of who they are. These are their stories. I'm Shamari Wilson. I'm from Alaska. I was raised up there and lived up there for about 32 years. Very outdoorsy and a big motorhead. And I am a motorcycle instructor, both on and off road, trying to help people just make good decisions and learn some skills and be safe. I had a pretty horrific accident back in 2011 and it took me a couple of years to recover. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to ride again, but you know, I was like, I'm a motorhead. What else would I be doing? So through that recovery, I felt like I had this desire to just become an instructor and to not only better my skills, but help other riders hopefully not make some of the same mistakes I did. I had a career at Costco for like 16 years in management, you know, which means long hours and making good money and, and this and that. And one day it just hit me like, what am I doing with my life? Like I've got a job, a great job making good money, but I'm not doing what lights me up. It almost felt like it was overnight, so I sold my house, a really nice house north of Seattle, and bought a 42-foot fifth wheel, completely downsized. I stepped out of management, then went to part-time. Well, the part-time opened up free time, and from there went into the motorcycle instructing, and, you know, the rest is history, I suppose. <laughs> I just love being a part of helping women do something that they have a desire to do, whereas before maybe they didn't feel like they could or had the confidence to ride a dual sport or adventure bike into the backcountry and off-road. and They want to be here, otherwise they wouldn't be here. So it's like I want to help them be successful and not break bike parts and body parts and you know really learn how to master their bike and use it as a vehicle to places they want to explore. I feel like women probably have a unique experience and I understand the fears and you know the challenges that they're going through, the lack of confidence and things like that. That's very unique to women. I'm sure that is the same for some men, but generally speaking it seems like you know men don't lack the confidence that women might. A lot of motorcycles are quite big and heavy. That's a unique challenge. Men have more strength and often taller and things like that. So, you know, I think there's definitely unique challenges in that regard um, that we kind of have to overcome, yeah. My little incident yesterday, which I shared with you guys, we as riders need to take full responsibility for our experience, okay? So when the guy was coming into my lane, you know, I of course, you know, grabbed the brakes, got into ABS, and then that was over. And then I feel like I went like this. Dude, what the frick, right? And you can probably verify whether I did that or not. Okay, well then guess what his response was? Whatever he had in his hand, he threw at me. Okay, that could have gone really bad. Okay, had I not had that reaction, he probably wouldn't have thrown something at me. It's just my guess. I think that lesson can translate to everyday life. You know, take a deep breath when somebody has a response to something that you're doing or, you know, had done or whatever, right? That people, we can't control them. What we can control is ourselves. So 
to just be mindful of that and you know kind of don't sweat the small stuff or the big stuff or anything just like let it roll off you know some people don't like motorcyclists they've had a bad experience and so we're all labeled as bad people or what have you so i try to be a good ambassador for our sport so as we're riding if it makes sense you know i wave or i try to be mindful when we're parking just try to paint a, a positive picture you know and just be a good ambassador for the sport period We've got a group of amazing women. Skill levels are varying from literally pretty beginner to ladies who have had more training, and they're all doing really well. Each and every one of them are progressing and stepping up their game. Even the ones that have experienced this stuff and have had quite a bit of training, each and every one is learning some kind of nugget, so they're doing great. I feel like over the last three days with these women, I'm seeing some success and, you know, I feel like they're beaming, especially the ones that this is really new to them. You know, I feel like they're probably feeling more empowered and just capable. So that's always fun for me to see the, you know, the smiles on their faces and they're glowing from it, really. When people, uh, ladies especially, do um, routes like this, they get challenged and they're very they're successful at those challenges i think that just helps them launch into other aspects of their life i've spoke with several after the fact and you know run into them months later and it really does seem like it transforms them in other aspects of their lives whether it be jobs you know how they hold themselves it just empowers them and it, it makes them stand taller and prouder i feel i literally have met women that they seem like they're completely different from the first time i met them where they're lois lane like right and then you know after experience this kind of stuff and later i mean literally they're within their power and you can feel it literally i can feel it from them so i, I love that I am living my best life. Yeah! We're always referring to Lois Lane and Wonder Woman. Lois Lane isn't in charge. Wonder Woman is. So I feel like I've kind of set the tone, you know. I've got that, right? And I've been wearing this belt buckle since 2014. And I feel like, A, it's fun, and it's an icebreaker. And every now and then I strike the Wonder Woman pose. And so I, I, it's just fun, right? And it's also a reminder, I feel like, hey, we're out here to feel like Wonder Women. We're learning to park the lowest lanes and, and blossom out to be Wonder Women. Yeah. I feel like a trip like this is important for women, especially later in life. They've raised their children, their lives were dedicated to others. And now the chicklings are out of the nest and it's about them now and they're finding themselves. And this is a great opportunity for them to do that.